Hi, my name is Larry Gessman. On another video on this YouTube channel, I've shown you how to build a simple ventilator using a linear actuator to compress an AMBU bag. There is also another video showing you how to eliminate the dead space problem caused by the long tube that connects the ventilator to the patient. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple flow indicator to be placed as distally as possible in the circuit. If calibrated, this could also be a simple flow meter for simple ventilators. This slide shows the roto flow indicator used in this video. It can be used as a flow indicator if interposed at various points in the patient respiratory circuit. My assistant Ben actually built the optical circuit that measures the rotations of this flow meter. Take it away, Ben. Here is a simple flow meter that I have designed for a DIY respirator. It uses a pinwheel flow sensor that spins as air moves through it. An Arduino-based laser emitter and an Arduino-based laser receiver. As the pinwheel moves, the laser gets blocked by one of the veins of the pinwheel, and therefore the receiver cannot detect the signal from the laser. This is interpreted by a computer, and the computer outputs the number of revolutions per second of the pinwheel. Here is the demonstration prototype. It has an inlet line, which is connected to a tire pump right now, and an outlet line that could connect to anything. It is using an Arduino and is hooked up to my laptop, which will output the flow rate in revolutions per second, which could be calibrated to any known unit. Here is a demonstration with the pump turned on. As you can see, the meter registered the increase in flow and then returned back down to zero as the pinwheel stopped and the flow um, ceased. If I restart it, we will get the same result. After numerous tests, it is very repeatable and can be calibrated for any use and communicate with any DIY respirator. Thank you, Ben. Here, the pinwheel is attached to the AMBU bag. If diameters A1 and A2 are known, it can be plugged into this equation to calculate volume flow. Here is the Arduino circuit. The code for this circuit will be listed in the text under this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching.